Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use IKEA Room Planner. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. Let's get started. So, you can actually plan any room via this uh, web app here, but in this tutorial, I will use Kitchen as an example as they are all pretty much similar. So, how do you get started? So first things first is you want to go ahead and visit the official website here to, in order for you to access the tool. So you want to go to kitchen.planner.ikea.com or you can just search uh, IKEA Room Planner. It's going to show you the official link for it. So in this case, you want to go and choose or click on the option here that says start deciding. Now, by the way, if you want to learn more about this one, like IKEA services, get inspired and a lot more. So if you can't do it yourself, you could also contact the following number here, but it's best to visit the official website first to see the updated number. But let's go and click on start designing. Now, here, first it's going to, or it might ask you first, a bit of question here to get you set up. So it's going to load for a bit here. So yes. So first things first, it's going to ask you about the room shape here. Now, there are going to be a lot of room shapes here, like L types here, a uh, square, so basics uh, option here. But let's go and choose square here as a basis. Let's go and click on it. And it's going to give us this preview here. Now, by the way, depending on where you are, the app itself might be uh, different. So it might ask you additional questions. So make sure to take note of that. But how do we get started? So first things first is we want to go and discuss how things work in here. So the thing with the uh, floor here is first is we have the top view here. So top view here gives you a general uh, idea on how things work. Now you can even like move the walls here. So if you want to expand your uh, floor here or uh, make it a lot smaller. So depending, depending on what you are planning. Now, as you can see, if you're dragging it up and down, you could also uh, see the size for it. So uh, right now it's going to be 4,000 millimeter here. So uh, if you want to increase that, just uh, expand it further as you can see right now, or uh, at the sides here, same thing. As long as you see the arrows here up here, you should be able to move them. Now, from here at the very bottom here, you have different views. Now you have the floor view here. So if you click on it, it's going to give you the floor view here. Now if you click on the wall option here, it's going to uh, give you a wall, but let's go and choose 3D here, which is the coolest part here, because again, you could go ahead and just view the 3D version of your design. Now just take note, so since we have this direction here, this is going to be the center of our uh, view. So whatever, wherever you move this, your camera will be centered to that. So uh, that's a way for you to navigate the UI itself. So yeah, so if you want to click on the floor here, here floor. So this is the floor view, again, 3D view. You can also click on the look around here, but for now it's going to be disabled. But yeah, how do we start? get started here? Now, if you press and hold on the walls or uh, the floor here, it allows you to move it around. So if I press and hold on the wall, it's going to, if I move that left side, it's going to uh, pan to the left side, as you can see right now, uh, right side, this way. So yeah. So how do we start managing the other aspects of our room here? So you have the ceiling height here as well. So if you want to increase this, like for example, you have like 3,500 3, millimeter size, it's going to be going to be a lot taller if you change that. Now, if you want to start adding a bunch of things, like for example, if you, you have your like the room shape here, you can go ahead and change your uh, room shape as well. Now, if you want to define your space, let's go and click on define space here. It allows you to add walls add separate uh, area separation and also add a slope ceiling. So as an example, maybe we want to add a wall, but first let's go and choose the floor option here and maybe make it a bit bigger, just a tiny bit bigger here. Now, by the way, at the bottom right here, you have the zoom in and zoom out option. So if you want to zoom in out or zoom, uh, zoom in or zoom out of your project, you can go ahead and use that. So yeah, let's go and choose define space. Let's go and click on add wall. Now, you can go and just start uh, adding your wall. For example, let's go and add a wall in here. Just click or left click on that section in that wall. It's going to drag that and just click on the other end to end the wall. Let's go and click on OK. Now, once we go back into 3D view, we now have our wall, as you can see right now. Again, like what I said before, wherever this uh, specific arrow here is going to be, that's going to be the center of your camera. So this is just for easy, uh, just for clarification. Let's go and click on floor. 
Now, if you want to add like different elements, openings, or anything that you want, you have the elements and opening section. Now, if you choose openings here, this allows you to add windows, doors, and wall openings. Let's, do, let's go and first add a windows. Let's go and click on window. Now, there are different designs of windows here. So, like, for example, maybe you want to add like a double, a double uh, size window. Let's go and add it in here. Now, if you want to add a non-opening window, go and choose this one. Let's, for example, let's go and add it in here. Now, from here, let's go and just choose the openings again. And we want to add doors. Let's go and add a door. So, first is we have the double interior door, pat, uh, patio door, and simple door. Let's go and add a simple door in here. And as you can see, this is where it's going. the opening going is going to be. So if you want to move it, like for example, you can go and press and hold the door and you can go and move the uh, where the door is going to open up because as, as you can see, this is, where, this is how the door actually swings open. Like you go and just switch it on the other side if you want, but let's go and just keep, the, keep this as is. And let's go and add another opening here and another door. And maybe we want to add like a double interior door here. Let's go and add it in this section here. So let's go and just view this in 3D view and see how it looks like. As you can see right now, that's our window and that's our door as well. Now, by the way, uh, as you can see, you can go and click it, you can go and modify this as well if you want. Like for example, you can modify the width, height, the wall side here and the uh, opening side. So you can go and click on it to change it. Now you can go, go ahead and do that as well on the window. Click on modify here if you want to change the width, height and the position of it. So for example, maybe I want to change the width here, like make it right, maybe like 2,200. It's going to be a lot bigger now. But then again, if you want to change this in uh, the positioning, you need to go back into floor view here to move them around as you can see right now. Now let's go ahead and choose the elements option here. Elements here allows you to add different options like structures, electricity, heating, ventilation, fittings. Let's go and choose structure, structures. It allows you to add like objects like a box, column round, or column square. Like for example, let's go ahead and add a column uh, round. Let's go ahead and just add it in the center of the room. Now, again, you could go and move this around. You can even like uh, resize the column. So as you can see here now, just, just give the idea. Let's go ahead and go to 3D, and there's going to be a column round in here. Now, by the way, you could go ahead and change, uh, click, or you could go ahead and click on it, click on modify here to change the width, height, and depth, uh, depth as well. So, Let's go and click on elements again. Maybe we want to add like, for example, uh, electricity. Now from here, we have the option for adding like double electric socket, uh, also like single electric socket as well. Now, if you click on elements, you have the option to add a like heating, like uh, a, a radiator here. You also have the option to add like ventilation if you want to add like air vents. And you could also like add like fittings here if you want, like for example, floor drains, uh, horizontal water pipe here, and a lot more as you can see right now. Now, if you want to add appliances, what you need to do is you want to go and click on the make it yours at the top of your screen. Now from here, you now have the option to add different appliances, cabinets, and a lot more. Let's go and choose cabinets here. And maybe you want to add a, a corner cabinet. Let's go and choose this one. And maybe we want to add it in here. Now, you could also add appliances here if you want. Like, for example, if you want to add, like, freezers, uh, ovens. Let's go and choose oven here. And let's go and scroll down here. So these are the ovens that we could uh, add. Now, let's go and click on appliances again. And maybe you want to add, like, for example, uh, some microwave. Now, some items may or may not be available depending on where or what. Uh, where, uh, where you are so depends on the region so let's go and add appliances again let's go and choose uh, microwave oven only as you can see this is available uh, microwave ovens you can also add like dining like for example let's add like four seating here and uh, maybe I want to add this one let's go and drag it in here now let's go and choose dining again if you want to add like for example bar tables tools benches and a lot more you also have like wall mounted uh, tables as well we also have like key, uh, kitchen extras here, like for example, trolleys, wall shelves, if you want to add them. As you can see right now, let's go maybe add it in here. Yep. And also, you could also click on search here if you're looking for something specific. And also, you can create image or view images here. Let's go and click on create image. You could go and click on create a screenshot. And it should uh, basically allow you to save your design. You could go and click on save here. 
to save your design, please log in into your Kia account. So you go and just create your account if you have if you if you uh, don't have one, but you can go and just log in if you already have an uh, an account or a Kia account. Now you can go and click on view images here. So if you want to view uh, your images, so these are going to be the images and 2D plans here. So if you save something, this is where you'll be able to view them. And yeah, so as you can see, this is the uh, total pricing as you can see at the top right here right now. Now, if you want to make it happen, you can go ahead and click on make it happen. Now it's going to give you like 2D plan images here. So you could go ahead and uh, view the, all, all the images here in the plan or anything that you generated in here. You could go ahead and just save those images out via this way. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you're on this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.